Good morning, uh, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade and this is How to App on iOS. And today we're going to be making some drums in GarageBand. But first, let's hear from today's featured artist, which is Mike Shana Music. And this is a track of his called... Where's Mike? Mike Shana Music. Hello, hope you're all doing good. Uh, wow, what an awesome song. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't do that to me. Don't give me a copyright claim. Man, why does YouTube just decide to start auto-playing stuff? Thanks, YouTube. Great stuff. Uh, I'm sure I turned that off eight times last week. But anyway. <laughs> so that's called Where's Mike? Why is that song important? Well, it is important because it touches on some important topics. Stunning. Um, no, really, what's cool about it is uh, it puts a, shines a light on uh, people who suffer from MS, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, not, not MS is cool, but uh, that people are able to create music and talk about these things and shine awareness on it because 
At the end of the day, there's not enough awareness shone on things like that. It's one of those things. I mean, we've had, I think uh, I came across this track after um, having Naya on the show on, on uh, last week. And this track was, I found this in a list of stuff when I was looking at Mike's music and was like, wow, this has to be played on the show. So uh, Thomas Christ says, YouTube, do you want autoplay? Me? No, YouTube autoplay then. <laughs> I don't know why. It just it just is a thing, isn't it? Hey, everybody, I hope you're doing well. It's the start of a new week here on the channel. And... Uh, what do we do here? We look at apps. Sometimes we do crazy things like trying to do drums for a song like today. Uh, talk about mental health and well-being. Interviews with artists and on the weekends and only do some live music. So there's a wide variety of stuff. And as somebody pointed out in a comment on my channel, my shows are terrible because they are full of 99% talking. Hmm. Yes, I've got nothing. Stunning. <laughs> anyway, shall we move on? Uh, all righty, let's say hello to folks in the chat. And uh, let me just close Facebook here. Cool. 99% of talking. <laughs> that was. I don't even know what to say. How do you respond to comments like that? <laughs> I don't know. 99% tomfoolery, says uh, says Audible Video. <laughs> Let's say hello to folks in the chat, and then we'll get down to things, yeah? Because I don't want to, like, spend, waste all your time with my 99% talking. Um, <laughs> tomorrow's show is going to be uh, presented by Marcel Marceau, and um, <laughs> I'm going to be completely mute for the entire hour. Uh, Joe Glenn, hello to you. Thomas Christ, hello, Cy, always effing good to see you. Uh, hello to Audible Video. Um, who else? Russ8889. Who else is here? <laughs> oh, my Lord. Kev Hart, hello to you. Kev Hart just dropped a new song uh, also uh, today, which I'll be playing tomorrow. It's called Roundhouse. Uh, so if you want to go check that out now, you can. Roundhouse. Um, I'm getting better at it, Kev. Roundhouse. Roundhouse. Slightly. Auntie G, hello Auntie G, Adam Burst, good to see you, um, who else is it, Roundhouse, that's going to be the next thing of the, the month. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Hello, uh, <laughs> Andy Coldsby, I hope you're well my friend, uh, have I got everyone, uh, Honor Star Chase, hello to you, who else is, sure. Curve Planner Hola. Hope you're doing well, today we are looking at a song, I'm going to play some drums, I'm going to try and play some drums. Roundhouse. Hello, Capsulam. Good to see you too. Uh, so today we're going to be doing some drums on a Joe and Barry Glenn song, which I started doing yesterday on the Patreon and thought, uh, let's let's continue it here. Just because I, it, it was an easy show to set up. Yeah, really easy show to set up. Alrighty, uh, shall we look at some price drops to see if there are any? Hello, Ed Zielinski. Welcome to the chat to you also. Price drops, baseline composer. I have no idea what that is, but look, it's on sale. And it looks like it's got a little asterisk next to it, which means there's an in app purchase. In app purchase. Um, EG Pulse, uh, another really cool drum app which is on sale. Looks like it's half price $13.99 to $8.99. Roundhouse. Let's see, I'm getting worse at it now. Helium is on sale as well for 10, 10 from down from $10.99 to $8.99. Um, also, Bleece Slow Machine, $7.99, uh, is down to $3.99. House Curve, what is House Curve? House Curve is a tool for tuning audio systems. Use it to adjust equalizers, set subwoofer phase, choose crossover frequencies. Yeah. Uh, Lagrange is $11.99 to $9.99. Uh, patterning still on sale. I really got to get patterning. I really should do that. Fly tape on sale too. So digitalism still on sale. There's a few from that have been on sale for a few weeks as well. Anyway, shall we move on? Yes, yes. Um, there's no interview this week on on the show. Instead, uh, doing something else. What am I doing? Can I show you what I'm doing? I don't know if I already have it here. I maybe I don't. Yes, there it is. 
This is this week's replacement for the interview, which will be another Warts episode. It is the rewards of risk-taking music. Danger and risk. What is missing from modern music these days? People taking risks. Everybody, well, there's a lot of artists who play it safe. Music's become homogenized. And I guess you can apply that to your everyday life, you know? More people should get up and, th- and, and try to run across the train tracks just as the train's about to go through, you know? Risk, there's a reward if you make it across the train tracks. <laughs> Don't do that, please. Uh, see, I'm talking 99% too much right now. Uh, so that is happening on Friday. It should be fun. We are going to open up Garage Band today. Yeah, I'm taking a risk, am I, Russ? Try me, mate. Try me. You'll see. I'm not going to go into that um, there. All right, so let's have a look. So Joe and Barry Glenn sent me a their demo, or their, their track they're working on. So they sent me... Um, they attempted to do some drums. Now... And it's really good that they're attempting to do drums because uh, it's it's something that everybody should learn how to do. And, uh, you know, you can use the auto drummers as much as you want, but they don't always work uh, for, like, you know, uh, Joe and Barry Glenn's music. It's probably hard to get an auto drummer to sit in the pocket and work for what they do. Um, so they tried to chop up part of an auto drummer and tried to turn that into drums. Let's see if I can find the track here. Um... Is this it here? Let's see. Three, two, one. A stunning risotto. No, a that's not it. Stunning no, risotto. hang on. Wrong one file. Stunning wrong risotto wrong dish. file. We're looking for one stunning dish. Hang on. Stunning dish. No, that's not it. That's Gordon Ramsay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> where is it? Uh, here it is. So let's have a play. Let's hear. And it's hard to chop up auto drums to get them to match. Chop, chop. There were three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. And they did true love switch up them. Should go, should go, should go. And ten rubber roll on the solar sea. The lot it fell first on Henry Martin, the youngest of all the three. So the problem is with Auto Drummer is it puts in when you cut the files, and we'll talk about it, we'll show you that. When you chop the files, no, nah, see, I won't, Russ. I've already tested it on yesterday's, uh, our, our curve, sorry. Uh, no, Russ said that. Um, I, I already did it on yesterday's um, Patreon, so I know I can't get any claims. <laughs> Of Gordon Ramsay, the legend, the man himself. So the problem is with GarageBand, when you uh, chop a, an auto drummer file, it automatically puts a drum roll at the end of it. And it, it, it changes. Every time you, you chop it, it changes the pattern. It compensates for you cutting it. And we'll, we'll cover that. See, this is what's missing from their drums. Some blast beats. That's what we need. All right, let's open up the GarageBand project. Here we are uh, in the project, in the projectors, and uh, let's go back to the start here. Now, what I've done with their project here is I have separated the music from the vocals. So all the vocal tracks are now down the bottom because uh, their project kind of had vocals here and some parts here, and I just wanted to bring it all together. So the bass was up here. So here's our bass track. And if we hit play... We've got a click track going as well. Hello, Pete Johns. Stunning. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Hello, Sith Vasquez. So we've already started some drums from yesterday.
can bring in some vocals so you can hear what's going on here. Now, where was that guitar thing? Ah, oh, it's there. Cool. So let's do some cleaning up while we're in here as well, because I hear this little guitar come in here. There we go. There it is. We'll just clean that up. Come on, baby. There we go. And uh, let's uh, bring in some vocals so we know what's going on. There is the last track there. And let's have a listen to it. All the way through because there's a recurring kind of pattern we'll turn off the click make sure my drums are off and we'll mix in these vocals in Mary Scotland in Mary Scotland there were three and they did true lots which of them should go should go should go and ten rubber all on the Salter Sea the lot it fell first on Henry Martin the youngest of all the three that he should turn rubber all on the so sea, salt sea, salt sea, for to maintain his two brothers and he. They had not been sailing for a long winter's night and part of a short winter's day. When he be a spy, a stout lofty ship, lofty ship, lofty ship, come and bib him down on him straight away. Hello, hello, cried Henry Martin. What makes you sail so nigh? I'm a rich merchant ship bound for fair London town, London town, London town. Would you please put a let me pass by? Oh no, oh no, hello. cried Henry Naya. Martin. This thing it never could be. Salt sea, salt sea, salt sea, for to maintain my two brothers and me. Come lower your topsail and rail up your mizzen, bring your ship under my lee. Or I will give you a full cannonball, 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 and all your deep bodies drown in the salt sea. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. So I'm going to bring in an auto drummer just to see how the auto drummer goes. And we're going to make let it follow the bass first. And then we'll show you some things with the auto drummer that you can 
help to create your own drums because this is not only just uh, me trying to add drums but a way for you to get out of using auto drummer here on GarageBand. So we'll add in here uh, a track. There we go. And we want auto drummer. Where are you? Auto drummer. I'm going to choose. I uh, will just choose Kyle for n actually. Where are we? Songwriter. R&B. Let's just choose Kyle for now. So as you'll see, when you choose an auto drummer, it puts in these ridiculous patterns. Great. But what I want to do is uh, immediately set follow. So the bass line, let's move this up here. Hello, Rhodey's Jam Cave. Hello, Naya. Hello, anyone else I've missed? So let's bring these drums in. And the bass track is here. So this tone bridge bass. So what I'm going to do is we'll select these two and solo them. And then I'm going to go to, to follow down here. And it's select it's set to tone bridge bass. So the kick and snare are trying to follow this bass. Has it changed much? I'll bet it hasn't, because that's the thing. Because the problem is with all of these, they chop them up into these beats, and it doesn't really follow. It doesn't really understand what's going on. Let's see what it's done to the song. Brothers in Mary Scotland, in Mary Scotland there were three, and they did true lots which of them <laughs> should go, should go, should go. And ten rubber It's like it's playing a completely different song. So the problem is with uh, things like this is it doesn't. Uh, follow a things exactly so you, it's not always going to work this is where you have to come in and start working out how to do your own drums because auto drummer is not perfect it doesn't solve every issue so and you'll see when i chop something like this when i chop this in half or if i uh, change this let's zoom in on it so we've got a roll here let's just solo this so there's that little roll at the end but if i slightly move this You'll see everything change there. And now it's become this. What the hell? And if I change it again and shorten it again, it changes too. So it's really hard to get control over the auto drummer, especially for a song like this that isn't a traditional kind of uh, rhythm. It is, it is in 3-4. So it, yeah, and it doesn't work with 3-4. There you go. So it, it's just not not digging it. So in situations like this, you have to make your own drums. So we're going to delete that track. And here's a track I previously worked on yesterday. And um, so this is not complete or anything like that. And everything is uh, just pretty basic at this time. But you'll notice. There were three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there We've got a good three. start. Cool. So I'm going to mute that track and we've got a second uh, drum track here and I'm going to try and get this intro down. Let's have a listen to how the intro goes. Scotland, in Mary Scotland there were three, 
And they did true love's rich of them Should go, should go, should go And ten rubber roll on the solar sea The lot it fell first on Henry Burton So the thing is here, uh, fuck off Audible, why don't you come and do it? <laughs> See, every episode I have to have a, a moment where I tell Audible to fuck off. The backseat driver is in the house. <laughs> there are other channels for that. Not, not, <laughs> not, not stunning. All right, so let's see where this actually kicks off. Um, you prefer the drums coming in after the first chorus to give it some punch. Well, you know, that's why I left the beginning of this. So let's have a listen to the beginning. I kind of didn't want to bring them in at the start. It's an interesting one. I kind of like them coming in at the start still. It's, it's, um, I'm going to see where these ones come in. There were three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. Cool. So what I'm going to do, I like these ones here at the start. What we're going to do is go in here and edit these because this is where it gets fun. Um, and here you'll see where everything is uh, in the, the palette here. So we've got kicks. We've got snares. So as you can see with my fingers here, I'm just hitting these. Uh, what's going on with my camera today? Really should zoom out with it. Um, there we go. We've got kick, snare, we've got a cymbal, and we've got some rides here going. So. so we're missing some kicks, and I'm just going to add these in. And the best way to add them in... <laughs> Russ. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these kicks in here um, individually. So I want the uh, kicks to go duh. Da, da. So we've got a space here. So to, the best way to do these is to copy them, in my opinion, and paste one in here. So now we've got. There were three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland. Need to get it on the line. Three. three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland, there were three. 
Three brothers in Mary Scotland. In the brothers in Mary Scotland. In there were three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. And they did true lots which of them. There were three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. So I'm going to add in another one there. So where we place that. And the thing is, uh, the best thing about doing drums, right? Yeah. You can't, you can't fuck it up. So when you're in the, the uh, section here to edit, you just go back and listen and see what sounds right. Now, I'm going to try and play this to the bass. The bass is the most important and the vocals here. So we've got a, you can see the kick here. So what I'm going to do is copy this kick. We've already got one copied in our, in our system. I'm going to paste this in here and move this to taste which is and use your sections here if you get a bit lost you can count between things when i first started doing drums in here i used to do this like an absolute mathematical program and well it is it is mathematical drums you know so you've got these two spaces between these kicks so now i can come in here and look i've got two spaces there again Right, so now three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. And they did true. So there you go, you can hear that adding that extra kick in there has just added a little bit more. But to start, when I because when you're playing things in, you can play things in and go over the top and, and and add things in later on. Like you can add a ride in there. So you can go back and do that over the top. Hello, uh, Metalhead Hippie. Hello to Bubba. And uh, for this song, basically all I've done is just keep a very simple ride here. Just keeping time, as you'll hear. There were three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. And they did true lots which of them. Right, so this is our first section. That sounds good to me. Three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. And they did true lots which of them. Now you'll notice where this uh, snare roll is, just here. And they did. Da, 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 da. So you can move these around to taste. This is the beautiful thing about uh, having an editor. So I can move this here. Let's see what that sounds like. You've got all the freedom to do what you want. You can add uh, three in here if you want. Let's copy that and add a third one in here and see what this sounds like. So you can do whatever you want. You can get really nuts with this stuff. Uh, I could uh, move this over here. So we've got that little flan thing going on there. And then you can even go in here and change the velocity of these and build them up. So the final one is really loud, right? So how I did this, held down on this first one here. Let's go full screen so you can see it. And you've got velocity and I can turn this right down and then I can go into the second one and turn it up a bit. And I can go to the third one and make it really loud. So you'll hear it'll go and it'll get loud as it goes on. So that sounds pretty cool there, instead of a ba da 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 So you've got this nice little, let's hear it again. There were three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. And they did true lots with... Cool, yeah? So it's like this little pra in the end there. In fact, this last one's probably a bit too loud. We can bring this down, because we don't want it to overpower everything. So now if you listen to it... And they did true... Beautiful! Beautiful. So you're actually sounding like, yeah, as Capsulam has written there, it's much more lively than da, 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 da. It sounded more robotic. This is kind of getting into the groove of this song. And these are the things you can do with your editing. So basically, all I did to get this, this song to this point was just go... That's pretty much it. And now it's the editing here that you can go in and make everything really there nice. Were three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. And they did true lots with... Cool. Where are we with this? Uh, so you'll notice too, with the kick, 
Back here, remember I said keep this space here of two in between? We've got this space in between again here of two. So we know it's all in time. Everything's good there. And you could probably go, even think about where you want your crash symbols to land too. Do you want to put emphasis here? Now, as you'll notice, I've gone and put these ride hits here. See, when I click on them, so we're getting that ride here. Now, you've got to think like a drummer as well. You've got to think when you're doing this, how many arms does a drummer have? Right? And guess what? They only have two. So if you get to the point where you're putting a crash cymbal, a, a china, a um, ride hit, a snare hit, there's too many arms, right? There's way too many arms. So you have to, you'll notice here on this first beat, I've got a crash and then the ride starts. And I see lots of people do this. They add a ride here and a crash. And it, that's not how drummers work. Right? Because there's not enough arms to do it. So you've got to think like you're actually behind the kit and how many arms there actually are. So what I want to do here, well, <laughs> I really thought Kev was going to write that, but <laughs> but I'll take it from Russ. Uh... <laughs> Look at, look at you all. <laughs> all right. Asterix, Def Leopard. <laughs> so, what, so what we've got here too is we've, after this uh, little uh, snare flan here, right, we want to have a crash in there. And as you can see, this is where, uh, so we go, bup, bup, rup, da, da. Da, da. So we're going to want to crash here. And I have a ride sitting here, but if I pull this down one, that's going to be a crash. And now you've got that emphasis that we're on moving on to another section. So let's listen to that. There were three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. And they did true lots with Sweet. So you notice that difference when we had it out of there. There's no definition uh, there's no definition that we've actually moved to another part. It, it falls flat and you want, you want to have that emphasis. Yes, because an emphasis is stunning. Exactly. And again, we'll play it one more time. Three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. And they did true loves which of them. You can even put in another hit there if you want. So you could actually copy this. Go in here and now paste that that symbol in there. But just to make it a bit different, go in here and change the velocity. So it's not as loud. And now you're going to hear. So it's still there. You've still got another China hit there. But a crash hit, sorry, but um, it's just that little bit smaller, yeah. So uh, then, basically, uh, and you'll hear it softer. Let's let's just hear the drums by themselves with the bass. All right, let's uh, solo the bass and the drums here, and we'll hear the beginning of this. Hello, Suzanne. Because a lot of the time, uh, good night, Naya, have a good sleep. A lot of, uh, a, a lot of times here, uh, you've only got one crash on a GarageBand drum kit, yeah? So uh, if you're not going to split these up and, and use a, a different sounding kit, which we'll go into as well, you can just change the velocity of the crash. So you don't hear it as loud, but it still sounds like there's a crash in there. And that gives you emphasis on, on a section of change. So these are little things you can do with drums to uh, you know make a lot of impact. Let's bring everything back in here. There were three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. And they did true loves which of them. Okay, so we'll move on to the next section. And what we'll do is I'm going to chop these up so you can actually see what's going on. So we'll chop this 
to this section here. Um, where are we? Let's just hear this again. I want to hear the whole riff. So I'm going to put a split in this drum track right here. And we'll split that. So now you can see we've got this part here. And now we've gone into this little short part. So essentially, um, if I'm right here, let's just see. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste this down below. And we should have, let's try this. Um, yeah, that's right. So essentially, I can now go in here and copy this as a second part. Let's just bring this up here. So now we've just copied the exact same drum part. Three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. And they did true lots which of them should go, should go, should go. Now you'll notice this is slightly different timing here. So we've got this same part. So that hasn't worked what I wanted to do. But if I do this, um, let's undo that move. And we'll, we'll just take this out of here, out of the equation. So now that we're in here, let's work on this section and I'm going to fix these kicks up. I'm just going to do these section by section. We'll probably might do another show on this tomorrow and get more complicated because uh, I think doing these drum shows is important. Now, I do want to remind people too, if you are using um, things like... Uh, you don't want to use the the drummer in GarageBand. There are other drum programs that I've done on this show, other apps. There is a free download in the description of a whole bunch of my acoustic uh, drum samples that you might want to grab. They're free to download. It's in the description. So let's add these kicks to make it match. So as you see here, we've got these double kicks. So I'm going to copy one of these and we want to put this in this second part. So I'm going to paste this in. And remember, we want a gap of two in between there. There we are. I put that in the wrong place. <laughs> Good stuff. Let's uh, delete that one. We want to go over here and we want to put this one here. Um, where are we there? So I'm going to paste this in here. We've got a gap of three, but we want two. So here's the start of the next section. And I'm going to add another one in here because it just feels like it needs it. Remember, these things are like, you've got to do these to taste what it feels like, what's what's happening with the bass. So if we now listen, this is slightly, it's a different pattern. We've got more kicks in this particular piece already. So now we want to go in here and add some symbols. We want to put some emphasis in this. Now, um, basically here, you can see, let's listen to this again. So in this section here, I want to put in a some snare hits. This is where Joe starts singing on this next section. See that? There's a space in there. Da, 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 da. Let's play this again. One more time. Da, 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 da. So you can see there's this gap in here, around here that needs something to define that we're moving on 
to a, a, another part of Joe singing. And we can probably put in some toms. Here's where it gets fun, right? Remember, mistakes make you better. You can put in whatever you want and listen to see if it sounds shit. So I'm going to go up here and hit the drawing tool and turn this on. So now when I touch the screen, it's going to add some notes. I'm going to try and put in some toms. Let's do it. Let's put in, so this is where we want the end of the toms to happen. This is the start of the next section. So I'm going to put in a couple of toms over here. Uh, we'll do it. Let's do one there. Let's do one here. And then we'll do a lower. And then we'll do a lower tom here. Oops. Do one there. And let's just see how it sounds. That's what it's all about. Okay, so, hey, it doesn't sound too bad. We've got these spaces here, and let's uh, do this. I'm going to bring this tom in there. And you'll see by moving things around, you can end up getting some kind of syncopated feels if you want. Because you, here's the deal. You don't need to be an expert with drums. Listen to see if things work and if they don't work. And that's how you're going to... And so what I'm going to do with this one is take at a snare here, at a snare down here, and put these toms in. Let's do this. Now you can hear that doesn't fit, right? That listen to these last two snares first. So let's shrink these down a bit. Let's take them down to it doesn't matter how long one of these are. are. Let's uh try this. Da, 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 da. I'm going to take, I'm going to copy one of these. I'm going to put in a bunch of these. So here, just messing around there, you can hear now there's a skip before that kick comes in. And it's not something I'm particularly going to keep, but you can hear. So you can create all types of different ideas with this. Um, don't don't be scared to do this kind of stuff. Uh, it's not always going to work as well. That's the thing. Now, if I go in here and we'll move these down here, let's see what happens now if I move all these to snares. <laughs> Doesn't work at all. That's the thing. Not everything is going to work. Let's try putting a gap there. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to leave that in there for now. I kind of like it and I'll work on this a little bit more and get that skip sounding really nice. Let's have a listen from the start. Three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. Should go, should go, should go. 
Now, the reason that I'm only working on this section here of music is because once you get down this sec particular section here, you are able to then grab both of these, touch one of them, while your fingers, let's show you um, in real time with the camera. Let's see if I can, there you go. In real time, if I touch with one finger to select it and then touch another one next to it, oops, that didn't work. <laughs> Try that again. I've now selected two of them. Alternatively, you can draw and select two of them. And once you've got two of them selected, you can now join them together. So if I bring up this uh, menu, see at the top here, I can join them. And now all I need to do for the rest of the song, for most of the parts, is just copy. Let's do it in a new drum track. So we'll, we'll mute this one here. And then I can just copy and paste all these in. Paste. Paste. And you are basically building, from one block, you are building your song up. Three brothers in Mary Scotland. In Mary Scotland there were three. And they did true love's rich of them. Should go, should go, should go. And ten rubber all on the soul. The lot it fell first on Henry Barton, the youngest of all the three. That he should turn over all along the salt sea, salt sea, salt sea. For to maintain his two brothers and he. Now, in this particular case, it didn't work because there are some changes in here. But that's what's beautiful about trying these things. So um, what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to continue on this and uh, do some more uh, drum work. I'm going to do some more work on this uh, during today. So it'll be a bit more developed by tomorrow. And uh, what we'll, we'll have this middle section we'll work on tomorrow as well. Which I'm going to add some toms in here. So in this middle bit, I don't know if Joe and Barry Glenn are going to like it. I hope they do. Um, but I think a real nice tribal thing in here in to change up the tone. Plus, what we're also going to add in here tomorrow is, if we duplicate this track out again, is if we go into our drums here, we're going to go in and probably add in some Tycho drums in here as well. Because we have the ability to add in some nice... will be <laughs> nice and interesting in there tomorrow so uh stick around for that uh now i can't go over time today because i'm pretty sure pete is doing uh just make sure pete's doing um garage band users weekly i'm pretty sure yeah absolutely thomas i believe uh the drums would be great for this too yeah so pete's up next so i won't continue on with this i don't want to weigh people down too much uh, with what's going on and we'll come back to this tomorrow and, you know, we'll go through the whole process of doing this. I think it's, it's a, hopefully you're going to enjoy this and seeing this thing come to life and uh, let me know. Yeah, because I reckon it's a good idea to do another drum show because I know people struggle with drums. So we'll continue this on tomorrow. Remember folks, save and save often. So at least that copy is saved and we're good to go for tomorrow. So, hey, if you enjoyed today's show, 
do the usual hit the thumbs up let me know and yes hippie hippies just put there getting close to 2k subscribers not that it's a big thing but hey it's something you know so yeah if you're watching on the replay hit the subscribe button everything helps and all that jazz and uh yeah we'll see you tomorrow have a great day and remember do the things that make you happy yeah mistakes make us better and we all rise together bye bye